Hello everyone, my name is Nick Feemster and I'm a professor in the Computer Science Department at Princeton University. I'll be your instructor for the Software Defined Networking course this summer. We'll cover an exciting range of topics over the next eight weeks on cutting edge topics in Software Defined Networking. One of the things I like most about teaching this topic is that it continues to evolve, so the course changes every year as the topic matures. This year's offering of the course will have several new aspects, including lecture material reflecting new cutting-edge topics, new programming assignments to help you gain more hands-on experience in these areas, and new interviews with luminaries from both research and industry who will help bring us up to speed on the latest developments in SDN. In addition to the new material, we're also streamlining the course of virtual machine installation so that you'll be able to gain experience with the latest and greatest SDN technologies, controllers, and use cases. As with last year, we'll use Piazza to manage course discussion to ensure that you get quick, efficient, and easy to find answers to your questions. We also hope to use Piazza to encourage participation in the lively discussions on SDN. Because of the nature of this topic, much of your learning will benefit from active discussion on current technologies and research. The forums will help stimulate this discussion. We are fortunate to have 10 community TAs this year, all of whom took the course last year and did well on the assignments, to help field your questions and suggest new topics for coverage. In this year's course offering, we plan to add new material on programmable data planes, including trends in white box networking and forthcoming custom programmable networking chipsets, such as the reconfigurable match action table chip and Intel's FlexPipe chip. In addition to the programmable chips themselves, we'll explore emerging higher level languages that are being developed to make it easier to program them. You'll learn about the emerging P4 standard for programming hardware data planes, as well as the NetASM assembly language that enables compilation to a diversity of hardware targets. We'll also explore how SDN is reshaping wide area networks, ranging from inter-data center networks, transit networks, and multi-site enterprise networks. In addition to the wide area, we'll explore new use cases in other realms, such as trends towards deploying SDN and broadband access networks. Security and reliability are two areas that received less attention in the early days of SDN, but the past year has seen some exciting developments in the application of systems and security concepts to SDN, and we'll learn about those as well. Finally, network functions virtualization, the practice of deploying functions that operate on network traffic in virtual containers throughout the network, is gaining a greater foothold, and its use is intertwined in SDN, so we'll learn about NFV as well. We've historically supplemented the course lectures with interviews from luminaries and leaders in software-defined networking, and this year is no exception. We're working to incorporate new interviews this year on topics ranging from programmable data planes, broadband access networks, mobile and wireless, verification, and wide area networking. The eight-week course proceeds roughly as outlined here. We begin this week with a history of software-defined networking. You'll also gain some experience with hands-on activities by setting up the virtual machine environment that you'll be using for programming activities throughout the remainder of the course. We'll then proceed with a new topic and programming assignment each week, starting with the separation of control and data planes, and eventually moving on to network virtualization and programmable data planes. The latter half of the course will incorporate considerable new material on programmable data planes, programming languages for SDNs, security, and cutting edge use cases ranging from wide area network to network functions virtualization. Each week's topic will be accompanied with a programming assignment that will help you gain hands-on exposure to the concepts that we introduce in the lectures. We're happy to have you in the course, and I look forward to learning together with you.